الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن التبع بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد to proceed In this lesson we will speak بإذن الله تعالى about a matter relating to الأسماء nouns and that is something that we have spoken about frequently during the course of these previous lessons and it relates to the issue of Al-Ma'rifatu wa Nakiratu and Al-Ma'rifatu as you are probably aware of by now relates to a noun which is known so it's called Al-Ma'rifatu that which is unknown is called Al-Nakiratu so in general therefore nouns can be divided into two categories either they will be considered to be Al-Ma'rifatu or they will be considered to be Al-Nakiratu so we have two categories Al-Ma'rifatu that which is known and Anakira to that which is unknown. So there are several types of categories of nouns that are considered to be al ma'rifatu. And there are certain categories of nouns which are considered to be an nakiratu. And as we know, one of the single greatest identifiers is the presence of either al before the noun or a tanwinu at the end. But there are other indicators too. So, for example, if we say Muhammadun, even though Muhammadun it ends with Tanwinu Dhammin because it is a name that refers to a particular person therefore we say it is Al Ma'rifatu it is an individual who is known similarly if we have a place which is known such as Makkatu either city in uh, Western Arabia then that too is a place which is known so by virtue of it being known it is considered to be al ma'rifatu and that's the general definition of al ma'rifatu it identifies a place or a person or an object which is known the opposite to that is al nakiratu unknown so if muhammadun was a boy who was known to us the opposite of that is just a normal boy who is unknown and therefore we would say that that individual is waladun a boy a note to the ending of tanwinu dhammin so that's the opposite of muhammadun muhammadun is a boy who is known waladun is just a boy who is unknown the opposite of makkatu would be madinatun a city Madi Na tun. So Medina tun refers to a city, it could be any city. It's not one which is known to us unless we either prefix it with al or we place it in an idafa construct and refer to the other place. Um, such as Medina to Mecca, uh, city of Mecca. So there are a number of categories by virtue of them being this type will be considered to be Al Ma'rifatu. And the first, as you probably gathered, is what we call Ismul Alami. Ismul Alami. What does Ismul Alami mean? Ism is a noun. Al Alam relates to 
a name. So it could be Muhammadun, it could be Makkatu, it could be, for example, Ahmadu, it could be Fatimatu. All of these are what we call Ismul Alami. And this is what the grammarians use to describe a term that relates to a name. They use the term Al Alam. So if you're reading that in a book of grammar and you're not sure what it means, then it relates to a real name. That's the first category. The second category, as you're probably familiar with, is Al Ismu. Al Mu'arrafu. Al Mu'arrafu. Be with Al. So, the second type of category which is considered to be Al Ma'rifatu is Al Ismu Al Mu'arrafu. Be Al. It is an Ismun, a name which is made uh, known, identified with Al. Um, that is a term that Ahlul Basra use. Ahlul Kufa, they say Al Alifu Wallamu. Um, and it's also used, uh, no, it's known by Lam Ta'rif. So there are a number of terms which are used in order to refer to Al. And when Al precedes an Ismun, then it becomes Al Ma'rifatu known, such as Al Waladu and so on and so forth. Al Waladu now meaning the boy. So we've moved from an indefinite state Waladun to a definite state Al Waladu by the addition of Al. And that's called Al Ismu Al Mu'arrafu or an Ismun, a noun which is known. So that's quite straightforward too, nothing complicated there. The third category which renders or makes an Ismun known is when it is attached to an Ismun which is known. So, it's referred to as Al Ismu Al Mu'arrafu. So it's the same term here Al Ismu Al Mu'arrafu B Al Idafati. So it's an Al Ismu Al Mu'arrafu Bil Idafati, meaning a noun which is made known by attaching it to an Ismun which is known. What does that mean? If we say, for example, Baytun Baytun Is Baytun Al Ma'rifatu or Al Nakiratu? Well, we know that by the presence of Tanwinu Dhammin that is an indicator that it is unknown and it's not Ismul Alami, it's not used to refer to a name therefore we know it is an Ismun which is a Nakiratu, unknown. If however we attach this to Ismul Alami, so a name which is known, then this Ismun becomes known too. For example, if we say Baytu Khalidin, and of course, in order to attach it, we have to remove the Tanween and it becomes Baytu Khalidin. Baytu Khalidin now is an Idafa construct, which is why we said Al Ismu Al Mu'arrafu Bil Idafati, it's an Idafa construct. But Baytun, which was a Nakiratu initially, 
is now al mu'arrafu it is now known and the reason why it is known is because we have annexed or attached it to khalidin and it now becomes baytu khalidin and the meaning of that is khalid's house similarly there are other methods of making an ismun which is ordinarily nakiratun ma'rifatun known by means of al-idafati or al-idafatu such as if we attach a personal pronoun to the end so if we say for example bay to then this damirun which is muttasilun it's mabniyun ala al-kasari and it is now uh, an idafa construct by virtue of attaching the kaf to baytu and baytuka means your house speaking to a single male baytu is considered to be the mudafun the ka the damirun is considered to be the mudafun ilayhi and wa huwa fi mahalli jarrin mudafun ilayhi and it is in the position of being majroor um, by being the mudafun ilayhi um, and that is therefore how we render an isman which is ordinarily unknown uh, and make it known by including it in an idafa construct it being the modafon so again it's not particularly complicated and you will have already encountered numerous instances in which you have seen this in operation the fourth category of um, types of al asma'u that are known relate to adhama'iru pronouns adhama'iru what does adhama'iru mean? it relates to pronouns such as if we say for example returning back to baytun baytun as we know is nakiratun how do we know it's nakiratun? because of the tanwinu dhammin if however we attach a pronoun so a damirun muttasilun to the end and we say we say for example baytuhu then what do we note? we note that the who now refers to a particular individual who is known right so this is similar to al ismu al mu'arafu bil idafati and that this is an idafa construct but now we're identifying the particular type of mudafun ilayhi so what is the function of the adama'iru the pronouns the, its function or its purpose is is that it refers to um, a person or a thing which is known right so it's already known to the person who is being addressed and clearly it's known to the person who is speaking um, and because of that the fact that it's known then it is considered to be al ma'rifatu right so if we say for example um qalami qalami qalamun ordinarily is something which is unknown the e which is a personal pronoun it's an attached pronoun damirun muttasilun it relates to me it relates to al-mutakallim the one who is speaking 
So that is considered to be known. And similarly, all of the others. So what's unique about the Dama'iru is that they are known. Okay, Al-Ma'rifatu, it's a category of al that are known. So the next category of al asmau which are considered to be Al-Ma'rifatu, are al asmau al mawsula So number five is al Asma'u al mawsulatu al asmau al mawsulatu such as Al-Ladhi, al al Allawati and so on and so forth. All of these are considered to be Al Ma'rifatu. And the sentence that follows it will clarify who the Ismun Mausulun is referring to. Allati Allati Safarat. So, Allati is Ismun Mausulun. Literally it means which or who, depending upon the context. In this context, it means who. Who, right? Now, at the moment, it is considered to be Al Ma'rifa to why? Because even though who doesn't necessarily uh, refer to somebody specific, the sentence that follows it does. Alati who safarat traveled Maryamu is Maryam. So Maryam is the one who traveled. And therefore Alati being an Ismun Mausulun is considered to be Al Ma'rifatu because the sentence that follows it which is called Sulatul Mawsulah, it's considered to be the sentence that defines or identifies who Allati is referring to. Similarly, if we were to say Alladhi Hadara At-Talibu Alladhi again, who hadara attended at talibu is the student. So Alladhi becomes known by virtue of the sentence that follows it that identifies the individual. That again is not particularly complicated and it should be Allah Ta'ala be simple to understand. Um, the sixth category is what we call um, al asma'u al ishara al as asma'u al ishara tu al asma'u al ishara tu what does al asma'u al ishara tu refer to well I'm sure you're familiar with Hadha, Hadhihi, Dhalika, Tilka. All of these types of Al Asma'u are considered to be Al Ma'rifatu. And the reason being is because if I say Hadha Qalamun, then Hadha this is referring to something which is known, something which is tangible, something that can be seen and so on and so forth. That quality of referring to something um, which is known renders uh, ismu, uh, the ismun al-ishara, make, it makes it al-ma'rifatu known, right? Um, and that is correct regardless of whether we're talking about something tangible, what we call hisiya, something that you can feel and touch, or the, whether we're talking about a concept or a principle. Um, so if we say, هذا ظلم أذيم, 
right? Hadha dhulmun adhimun. That uh, this is dhulmun, an oppression, adhimun, great. So if a person was to commit shirk with Allah Azza wa Jalla, we know that shirkun la dhulmun adhimun, as the ayah states, it is dhulmun adhimun. Therefore, if we're referring to an action that somebody is performing uh, in which they are committing shirk, we could refer to it without physically seeing it or touching it. But as a principle, as a concept, we could say, Hadha dhulmun. So, al-sama'u al-isharatu is the sixth category. The last category that we could mention as being from the al-ma'rifatu, the types of nouns that are rendered ma'rifatu, which are ordinarily uh, nakiratun, are what we call al-munadi. So, al-munadi, Seventh category is what we call Al Munadi, that which is called Al Munadi. Al Munadi. So if we say, for example, uh, Waladun. Waladun refers to a boy. Okay, that's something which we know now. It's a Nakirat unknown. We don't know which boy it is. But if there's a boy present now, and I say ya wala do, because we drop the tenween, and the reason being because we prefixed it with the ya, which is harfu nida, a harf that is used to call, then wala do becomes ma'rifatun known by virtue of us addressing the individual with ya. So if a person is now walking past or is present here and I want to address him, then I could say ya wala do. And wala do, by virtue of it being al munadi, becomes ma'rifatun because of the presence of harfu nida ya. And that is the seventh example of types of nouns that become al to known by uh, virtue of their category. So to summarize, therefore, the first was Ismul Alami. This is a name, right? Whether it's a name of a person or a place or an object. The second is al ism al mu'arrafu bi al, and any ism which we can introduce al to it, which of course, as you know, is an indicator of it being an ism that we can prefix it with al. That too is considered to be al ma'rifatu. Uh, the third al ism al mu'arrafu bil idafati. So if we take an ism which is ordinarily nakiratun unknown and we introduce it into an idafa construct, it being the mudafun, if the mudafun ilayhi is known, such as a person, uh, khalidun, and we say baytu khalidin, or it is uh, a damirun, such as ka, baytu ka, then the bait in those instances become known. The fourth example follows on from that, and we've identified a dama'iru as a, an independent category of al asma'u, which are al ma'rifatu. The fifth is al asma'u al mausulatu. So they are known by virtue of silatul mausul, the sentence that follows it, that clarifies and identifies who the isman is referring to. The sixth, which is straightforward, al asma'u al isharah, they are uh, nouns which are used for indicating towards something. In English, it's called a demonstrative pronoun. Um, so if we say, hada qalamun, dhalika baytun, and so on and so forth, then the ismul isharah here is known. 
And similarly, al-munadi, the ismun, which is addressed by a harful nida, such as ya, that ismun becomes al-ma'rifatu no. That is what we wanted to mention. If, we have any, if you have any questions, then you're welcome to ask, and we shall conclude on that point. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك